Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. When do you think of shishito peppers? Is it in the middle of the summer? Is it right now when they're in season? Do you know what a shishito pepper is? Let me tell you, if you don't know what it is, you're missing out. My kitchen's a mess as always, and I'm harvesting lots, and I've got basically three things on the go, and I also have a birthday cake to make, which I haven't even started yet. But let's not digress. Let's get on with the peppers. So a shishito pepper is basically a green pepper, and if you let it go on the plant a little longer, it can turn either orange or red. Now for the most part, they're mild pepper, but in every 10, 11, or 12th one, it'll kind of have a little bit of heat. Not a crazy amount, but they do have a little bit of heat. What do you do with a shishito pepper? My favorite way is to grill them. Let me show you how I grill them. It couldn't be any easier. As you can see that these are quite raw. They're about halfway there. And all I do is I put a little bit of oil, so about two tablespoons of oil. And you can do avocado oil, I really like using. And you're basically going to grill these and blister them. You don't want to burn them. So I've got it on medium high heat. What I'm just doing is, as soon as it's blistered like that, you can see there's some raw spots. I like to kind of push it down a little bit, and you can see this is raw. So I just keep turning them over. This is not a rushed process, for sure. And you're just going to keep turning them over and flipping them over. You can see that part's still not done. So I'm just going to rotate it still. Hopefully you guys can hear me above the fan and this part still is quite raw so what i always try to do is i always try to set the pepper directly on that raw spot just so all parts of the pepper touch the grill it's it's a little hard with the bigger ones just like any fried item i like putting it on paper towels just to get the excess off and i like soaking them up yes a little bit of the flavor comes off on the um on the paper towel and that's okay to me because I like the fact that it absorbs the grease as well so it's not super greasy. And then what I do is I recycle an old takeout container and I put parchment down. And you'll see that they do this at the deli with really sticky cheeses. I don't want to use a Ziploc bag for this process because of the fact that they're all going to clump together. What I like to do is I like to lay them out individually so that I can then put the parchment paper like this and you're going to accordion it, accordion it back and forth this in this manner to make sure that you get your layers and that you can cram a whole lot more into these containers and I'll show you what that looks like. I've laid my first layer down and I'm wondering if I can squeeze another small one in here. And then what I'm doing is I've already creased this ahead of time. I'm just going to then fold that over, flip it around because it's, I find it's easier when the longer piece is on the opposite side of you. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to crease this again and then load them up. As of right now, I've got these two containers almost full. This one is actually full and it's still quite hot. Sorry, we're cleaning the house for the party tomorrow and I really wanted to get this video out because I've got so many peppers out here and already grilled. So this one is already. Now it will take some time for the uh, for them to cool down. Now if you pack them in here what you're going to have is you're going to have a lot of steam in here and this will all crystallize and become really icy. So you want to give a ch you want to give them a chance to really cool off. So I won't actually be putting these into the freezer until tomorrow morning. For this one, I've just got a regular container that I found at the bottom. I don't have any more takeout containers. And next week, I've got another big batch of shishito peppers coming from the farmer. So I'm just going to continue on. And I've got these packed quite tightly. And you can see there's quite overlap. Like there's, this one is for sure overlapping. But that's okay because each layer is roughly what I use for a pizza. But if you want to use less, you can use less if you want more. I just do it. It's a lot easier for me to just take this, peel it apart, let this layer thaw, thaw out, and then I use it for my salad or whatever topper you want. If you're doing an appetizer, say with crackers, a little bit of cream cheese, 
maybe with herbs or goat cheese. This is a great way to like layer it up, um, especially around Christmas time, because people won't be thinking of grilled shishito peppers because a lot of people associate them with summer and that's the only time you can eat them. Well, if you layer, and this is key, parchment paper in between, you can have freshly grilled shishito peppers any time of the year. I've got some set aside for the pizza tomorrow for the birthday party, so I'm not gonna be packing up those, but this one, I'm, I still can get probably two, two layers out of this one. This one's already gonna go into the freezer, and then on Friday when I get, it, uh, get more peppers, I'm gonna put another layer of parchment paper, put down some more grilled shishito peppers, and I'm off to the races. I'm hoping to empower you guys with different ways of thinking when you're in the kitchen so that you can enjoy your food that much more. A lot of people find it very stressful to cook all the time. Maybe they're feeling burnt out. And if there's maybe even having this on hand for, you know, maybe sprucing up your lunch for work or sprucing up your dinner, if that helps you in any way, then my blessings to you. Until next time and next episode, I'll see you guys later. Bye.